Hi, I'm Rich and welcome to RVSalesOfOregon.com. I get to show you this beautiful 1999 Beaver Patriot. It's 40 foot. It's got the eight airbag custom coach chassis underneath it with uh, air over hydraulic brakes. It's got the big 22 inch wheels and it's also powered by the Caterpillar 330 horse engine with the Allison six speed transmission. It also has an exhaust brake to hold you on the hills. One thing I like is it's got the Gerard electric awning with the wind sensor. If you push a button, I'll show you real quick. That's all you do. You can stop that awning wherever you like. You can stop it if there's a tree here, another coach. Uh, the beauty is an armed awning goes out eight feet. These go out 10 feet, so it gives you more awning coverage. Inside the arms, they've got cables, so it'll billow up if you get a sudden gust of wind and spring back. And again, the wind sensor, it's uh, pre-programmed from the factory to automatically put it away. But the, the nice thing about it is, if you want the awning in, just push a button. Either one of you can push a button, put the awning away. I'll show you how easy that is. Very simple, push the button. So here you can see that you can fill the fuel actually on either side. So if there's an open spot at the uh, fuel station, you can pull up to either side. It's very nice and easy to get to. The, uh, the wheels are all lined with a, a nylon a liner, a vinyl liner. Compartments underneath here, this is all aluminum. You don't have to get down on your knees to open them. They come up nice and high. They're all aluminum frame, so they won't warp in the hot sun. This has a Joey bed that slides out, so you can get to your toolbox or heavy things from the outside here. The bottom floor of the basement is all laminated with foam insulation. So is the subfloor. So this is like a thermos down here where the tanks are enclosed, the water tank, the holding tank. It's heated down here so it won't freeze in the cold weather, but also it's gonna keep the coach quieter when you're driving down the highway. The body of the coach is uh, gel coat fiberglass. The walls are aluminum frame with uh, hand laid fiberglass uh, sidewall. It's painted with a diamond. Diamond is an automotive uh, paint and clear coat. It's all cut and buffed, so it's gonna look nice for a long time. Again, these are nice, easy to open compartment doors. The black wire you see here is actually a lock. You just push a button by the door and you can lock them all, or you can open them all. It's very simple. Great storage underneath the coach. They put the water pump down here, so you don't hear the water pump up there in the living room where you're living. There's a filter in there also for the ice maker. Back behind this panel is the uh, gray and black water holding tanks. This coach has great capacities. It's got 100 gallons of fresh water. It's got 100 gallons of holding with the gray and the black. It's also got about 100 gallons of fuel. So you're not always looking where you, know, you need to fill it up or dump the tanks. It's very convenient. This is a, a coach chassis. It's built by uh, the same company that builds Beaver. So they build it from the ground up. They put the batteries on a nice slide out tray so you can get to them to check the check the water level. Uh, there's two 12 volt engine batteries, four six volt coach battery, or house battery, excuse me. It's got a uh, 7.5 kW Onan quiet diesel that's mounted in the front. It slides out for easy access. It's also got the 2000 watt inverter with a uh, uh, 100 watt solar panel on the rooftop to charge these batteries but that that inverter is nice if you're up early in the morning you don't want to wake up the campground or your uh, neighborhood you just push a button start the inverter and you can plug in an outlet for coffee or something like that the other compartment in the back here is the uh, serve engine service compartment so you can check the, the motor oil you can check the transmission fluid you can raise and lower your jacks right here it's got a, a, a drop cord with a, a light that you can use to check the water level or whatever else you want. The fuel filter, fuel water separator, 
It's either got paper towels to clean things up. In the back, you've got a ladder that goes up to the top, and that's an important feature. The rooftop of this coach is all crowned. It's gel coat fiberglass like you have on the body. So if you back it up or turn and you feel a, a, or hear a tree branch, you don't have to worry about it like some of the other types of roofs that are out there. Again, the, uh, uh, the Caterpillar 330 horse will give you plenty of power and torque for towing. It's got a hitch, wiring. It's got a mud flap across the back to protect your uh, tow vehicle. And also you'll see the backup camera mounted at the top there so you can see that whatever you're towing is still back there. Just kidding. The uh, fence or whatever's behind the coach, you can see it when you're backing up. And here you've got a, a power cord reel. It's a 50 amp power cord so you can plug in and run both the roof airs off of it. The Glendenning, Glendenning power cord reel um, allows you to, to roll this reel, the power cord up in one nice little storage area here. Here you've got the service compartment. It's uh, where you hook up your, uh, you bring it through the, the bottom here. You hook up your city water, your TV, your phone. It's got hot and cold water out here so you can clean things off the dog's feet or clean your fish or whatever you're doing. This is a water manifold system, so it simplifies the water. When you hook up your city water, it goes to this manifold. You have one direct line on the hot side and the cold side that go to the kitchen sink, the bathroom sink, the shower, the washer and dryer. Um, just a very organized way to do the plumbing. If you had a leak in the kitchen sink, you could come out here, turn it off, and still use the shower. It doesn't change the fluctuation of water pressure, so it's uh, also got the, the gray and black water dump uh, valves up in here out of the way, so you're not going to knock them off. And again, those tanks are back in a heated compartment. That'll keep it from freezing in the wintertime. You'll see that the storage compartments on the slide come out with the slide. That way you don't have to carry your things underneath there and hurt your back loading up the compartments. They come up again nice and high. You can see they've got the spare filters to match what the coach already has for the oil filter, fuel filter. It's been very well maintained. This also has a docking light on the side here for security. You can, if you're noise outside, you can flip the switch, illuminates this area. So you've got two big compartments here. The propane tank, they lay it sideways across the chassis to give you more storage inside there. So you just pull up to this side when the slide is in and fill your propane up. Just hold this button down, the generator slides out of the front cavity so you can get to it to service it. Again, it's a Onan quiet diesel, 7,500 watt, which will run both of your roof air conditioners. And it's got a screen door that's built into the wall here, which rolls up into a box. So you're not always looking through the screen. And when you come in, you've got leather driver and passenger seats, ultra leather. It's six way. The, the passenger seat has a footrest that comes up. You got to take care of the co-pilot. This will come up nice and high for the co-pilot to rest their feet on. And then the driver's seat has lumbar support. It's six way power also. Telescoping, tilting driver's wheel here. The backup camera, you can see it flips up out of the way. It's actually in color, so you can see behind you a lot clearer. Folds up out of the way when you're parked. You're not looking at a camera all the time. It's got an exhaust retarder to hold you when you're coming down the hills. It's got the six-speed Allison transmission, a nice little CB radio with the weather station. It's got the uh, drink holder down here for the driver. Just push this button, it locks all your compartment doors, or unlocks them all. You'll see coming through here, sculptured carpeting. It's got a beautiful, huge galley sofa slide. The sofa does lay down and make into a bed. It also has storage underneath it. Lots of counter space. This, uh, this particular floor plan has lots of counter space and lots of drawers. You've got drawers. There's three big drawers in here, real deep. There's underneath the sink storage. 
And then another nice thing here, it's got a cutting board, knife drawer, a place here to put your sink covers. You can just take these, uh, look at the nice beaver sink cover. You can put that in there. In fact, the, the covers for this recessed Gagano stovetop, they're already in here. You can see they've got them stored in this nice little area here. And there's a little bread box or appliance garage in the back here. So you can put your coffee or your toaster back in the back. One thing Beaver is known for is some of the nicest woodwork in the industry. Everything is solid wood. The doors are all handmade. They use uh, brass latches, which will last forever with uh, adjustable ball bearing springs. They, they line everything with nylon carpet down here. So very solid. That's why this looks uh, brand new. It's got a uh, very exotic cut of oak. This is a rift cut oak. You can see the vertical cut, very tight wood grain. You see that in a lot of nice uh, restaurants and furniture. The walls are a fabric soft wall. They do a, a very good job with the details. Ultra suede around the windows. The windows are a dual pane window. About every window but the front windshield, which is gonna help keep it cooler and quieter, warmer in the winter time. It's got a, a nice bricklayer style tile coming through the galley to the bathroom. Your kitchen table is uh, Corian, actually Fountainhead is the brand, it opens up. You can put a leaf in there, it's a nice big leaf and it's got two folding chairs. So if you have company, you've got plenty of space here. And it's got a nice Euro chair with an ottoman right here. Here you've got the 12 cubic foot Norcold refrigerator and freezer. It's got a built-in ice maker. Very deep freezer for extra storage in there. This is 12 cubic foot. And what I like about this floor plan is you have the big giant refrigerator. You've got drawers beneath it. And then a big pantry also right next to it for you know your boxes and cans. It's got uh, adjustable shelves in here so you can Lower that if you want to put a can here and a box here. And then more drawers beneath here. It's just got great storage. You've got a solid door here for privacy. This is another solid wood door. And then in the, the bathroom, you've got a tub. It's actually got a bathtub shower combination. Even if you don't use the tub, it's a nice area to hang your wet clothing and, and let, allow it to dry off. It's got a skylight up above to give you extra lighting. A great big uh, galley sink area with lots of counter space. Look at this. They even have a dirty clothes hamper. The commode here is it's got a, a private toilet room with a fan and an extra storage compartment behind here, maybe for chemicals or things like that. And then here you've got an area for a washer and dryer, storage above it. It's got adjustable shelves. There is a place for a, a hanging bar so you can have more wardrobe if you choose. They've got carpet, uh, sculptured carpeting in the bedroom with carpet up and wainscoting on the wall. Again, the soft fabric wall. Uh, this has a, a flat panel TV in the bedroom. You've got the day and night blinds here in the bedroom. There's the day and then more private night blind. You've got shirt wardrobes next to the bed with overhead cabinets, nightstands for a place to set your things uh, when you go to bed, and an island queen bed in the back. And there's a huge wardrobe to the side here. With, there's your extra folding chairs for the kitchen dinette. So once again, what a great floor plan, nice, clean. Beaver has always been one of the best coaches out there. Thank you for your time today. I just want to share with you, we're five minutes from the Eugene Airport. If you want to fly in, we can pick you up. Our webpage has uh, our toll-free phone numbers. Email us. Uh, anything you need, please let us know. And thank you for your time today.